Today, I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 favorite records in my collection, and we're also going to talk about why I think you're going to love this music. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're going to talk about my favorite records in my collection. Now, this top 10 list will probably change over time as I buy new records, but for now, these are the albums that I really love, and I tend to play these records over and over. Now, I also believe that a good record should be like a good movie. No matter how many times you play it, you just never get tired of it. And if you guys want to check out these records for yourself, I'll have their links posted in the video description down below. Also, before we dive in, I just want to give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for this video, Vinyl Moon. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, then you're probably already aware of Vinyl Moon. But for those of you who still don't know about them, they're a really cool vinyl record service that delivers colored vinyl record mixtapes to your door every month. So every month, you're going to get 10 brand new songs all by different different artists on a really cool looking vinyl record. So if you want to check them out, their link is also in the video description below. All right, now let's talk about my favorite records. Number 10, Jean-Michel Jarre, Oxygen. I picked up this record at Amoeba in Hollywood and I managed to find it in the very small New Age vinyl section. And even though it was only a few bucks, it was in great condition and it plays flawlessly. Now, what I love about this music is that it creates a complex soundscape with Jarre's use of synthesizers and digital elements. And if you've never heard his music, you're going to be in for a real treat because the sounds seem to grow and diminish shift and interact with each other in a way that will keep you thoroughly entertained throughout the entire record. Oxygen is definitely an album that you should listen to if you're into things like ambient, new age, or electronic music. Number 9, Marika Hackman, We Slept At Last. I've had this record in my collection for over a year now and I really love it. Marika's voice is like an angel from heaven. She's an incredibly talented singer and songwriter from the UK and this is her debut album album. It's dark and beautiful at the same time, especially with songs like Monday Afternoon, which if you read the lyrics closely, you'll realize that she's singing from the perspective of a corpse rotting in the woods. But the song does have a beautiful melody and it's one of my favorites on this entire record. I also really like the song Open Wide, which has this really cool kind of wailing guitar, slow core Nirvana vibe to it. So overall, if you love folk music with soothing vocals and a hint of darkness, this album is going to be perfect for you. Number 8, Om at Vedic Songs. I got this record from Paul on the Baraka PW YouTube channel. He sent this over as some VCLT, which was very nice of him. So thank you so much, Paul, for sending this amazing record over. This was actually a record I was thinking about getting for myself, you know, a while back, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. So when it showed up, I was very pleasantly surprised. So thanks again, Paul. This music is kick ass. This is a fantastic Eastern sounding tribal doom and stoner rock kind of album. It works really well for when you just want to jam out for a while. It's also great for getting you really motivated, like if you're going to go work out. It definitely builds up this nice kind of rhythmic flow, and it kind of just gets your mind in the zone when you listen to it. So I highly, highly recommend it. Number 7, Jose Gonzalez, Vestiges and Claws. Now this record is for when you're done working out and you just want to chill. Jose Gonzalez's voice and soft acoustic guitar are perfect for playing on a rainy day or when you just want to have a small get-together with your friends and you need some nice like laid-back chill music in the background. Jose's music overall feels very warm, friendly, and comforting like being wrapped in a warm blanket of sound. All of his records are fantastic. Everything from Vestiges and Claws to In Our Nature and of course his debut album Veneer. Lately I've been listening to this one a lot but they're all fantastic. Number 6, Black Sabbath Master of Reality. Black Sabbath are the pioneers of heavy metal music so of course I had to have one of their records in this list. And the record I chose was Master of Reality simply because no matter how much I play this, I just can't get enough. It's awesome. And two of my all-time favorite songs on this album are Sweet Leaf 
and Into the Void. And I love these songs in particular because of their incredible guitar riffs. They are legendary. So if you really want to wake up, you should play this music as loud as you can tolerate and you'll be up and moving around in no time. It really does give you a ton of energy, so in that respect, this is another great album that's good for working out or just staying active. So if you're into rock and metal, you're gonna love this a lot. Number five, Agnes Obel, Philharmonics, and Aventine. This record is kind of a two-in-one because it's a double LP gatefold with two albums, one on each side, and the music is incredible. Agnes Obel's voice and her modern orchestral music go together like peanut butter and jelly. They are a match made in heaven, and if you don't believe me, you should definitely listen to her song Riverside, which was the very first song that I discovered by her on YouTube. This song just simply blew me away. It was beautiful, timeless, and sad all rolled up into one. And after hearing it, I had to do a little more online digging. So then I found out that she's a musician originally from Copenhagen, Denmark, and she's currently published three albums. Philharmonics, Aventine, and the more recent Citizen of Glass. Now, although they're all good, I prefer the first two, so it's perfect that I was able to find them both in the exact same gatefold release. And it was only 20 bucks on Amazon, which was like the fastest decision I've ever made in my life. I highly recommend this album if you guys like peaceful, romantic, hauntingly beautiful orchestral music. Take a chance on this and you will not be disappointed. Agnes Obel is definitely one of those underrated treasures that I think more people should know about. Number four, Kings of Convenience, Riot on an Empty Street. Speaking of underrated treasures, these guys are a fantastic duo from Bergen, Norway, and they harmonize incredibly well, like a modern day Simon and Garfunkel. So if you're fans of that kind of music, you're definitely gonna love this also. I have their three main albums on vinyl. Quiet is the New Loud, Riot on an Empty Street, and Declaration of Dependence. And they're all fantastic, but lately, I've been playing this one the most, which is Riot on an Empty Street. And honestly, this music just brightens my day when I hear it. It's kind of lighthearted, happy, upbeat, acoustic folk music that just calms the mind and reminds you not to take life too seriously. Number three, The Cure, Disintegration. This record is awesome. I've had it in my collection for a while now and it just gets better every time I listen to it. It really is the perfect like late night, melancholy 80s goth rock music. It's multi-layered, nostalgic, and heartfelt all at the same time. It's simply wonderful and that's why I immediately snatched it up whenever I saw it in the record bins at Amoeba. I also feel this album is best when you listen to it as a complete experience. You gotta listen to it from start to finish because that way you're gonna get the full kind of effect of the music. Every song just blends perfectly right into the next one. It's really incredible. Think of this music kind of like therapy to ease your chaotic mind. It's the kind of sound that lets you know that everything's gonna be okay. Number two, Sade Lovers Rock. If you've been watching this channel for a while, then you'll probably already know that I'm a huge fan of Sade's work. Ever since I bought my very first record of hers, Love Deluxe, I've been captivated by her incredible music. Her voice is like caramel to my ears, and I feel like it really soothes my soul. And although all of her records are amazing, my top two favorites are Love Deluxe and Lovers Rock. Also, lately I've been testing all of my audio equipment with Lover's Rock because I feel like it's a really great reference album. It's got a solid beat, great vocals, and overall a good kind of dynamic mix to flex the muscles of your speakers. This music just makes me feel very happy and relaxed when I listen to it, so I think you guys will love it as well. And finally, number one, Boren Under Club of Gore, Sunset Mission, and Robert Rich Nest. Okay, so for number one, we clearly have a tie because I just couldn't decide which one of these two albums I love more. They're both incredible and they both deserve the top spot. So let's start with Born Under Club of Gore, Sunset Mission, because it's an incredible listening experience. As I've mentioned a few times on this channel, this is one of my all-time favorite albums. Now, what makes it so unique is that it has a really beautiful dark jazz noir atmosphere to it. 
it really sounds unlike anything else I've ever heard. And that's why I have no other album to compare it to. It is amazing. Also, I'm super happy that I was able to order it online all the way from Germany. It was pressed by a company called Pios Germany, which is short for Play It Again Sam Germany, and it's one of my top favorite records in my entire collection. I highly recommend you guys pick this one up because you are gonna just fall in love with it. Okay, so the other album is actually on CD, and it's called Nest by a guy named Robert Rich. Now, I briefly mentioned him on this channel a long time ago, and overall his music is indescribably beautiful and moving. And Nest is one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. Now this album doesn't sound like what you could call traditional music because it's more of a soundscape. Kind of like a world of sound that you can visit every time you pop this CD in and put on a good pair of headphones. So in general, Robert's music is perfect for stuff like meditation, yoga, and really just sleeping. And you can also play it when you need to concentrate on a certain task like doing homework, reading, writing, or painting. Also, I feel like his music in particular can help people that are dealing with insomnia or just people that want to relax their mind and kind of de-stress. I have personally listened to this album more times than I can count, especially when I'm sleeping and I've had some incredible dreams. So I highly recommend Nest because if you've never heard Robert Rich, he will change your life. Also, if you go to Robert Rich's Bandcamp store, you can request an autograph from him free of charge by adding a note to your PayPal order. And that's exactly what I did. So you'll see he signed it right here free of charge. Now, what do you guys think about all of my recommendations? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you love music, join the vinyl army and hit subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not going to want to miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All of my social media links are in the video description below. And most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day and keep spinning that vinyl.